Imagine this, a single line of code, a few keystrokes, and bam. A billion dollar company software is cracked wide open. But what happens next? What's the real impact on the giants like Adobe, Microsoft, and Rockstar Games? Stick around, because what you're about to learn might just shock you. Asterisk. First, let's dive into what software cracking actually is. In the simplest terms, it's the process of bypassing the licensing protections of software, making it free for anyone to use. But, have you ever wondered how it's done? Let me explain, asterisk. Hackers exploit vulnerabilities within the software's code. Sometimes they reverse engineer the application, sometimes they manipulate the system to trick it into thinking it's legally registered. It sounds almost too easy, doesn't it? But why do these hackers go after the big fish? Companies like Adobe, Microsoft, and Rockstar Games? The answer is simple. These companies develop some of the most popular and expensive software in the world. And with popularity comes opportunity, opportunity for exploitation. Take Adobe for instance, their creative cloud suite is a favorite target. Why? Because it's expensive, essential, and in high demand. If a hacker can crack it, they've suddenly got thousands of potential users knocking on their digital door. And it's not just about money, it's about power, influence, control. But the real impact happens behind closed doors. Imagine you're an executive at one of these companies, millions of dollars spent on developing, testing, and securing your software, only to have it stolen and distributed for free. The financial loss is staggering, but it doesn't stop there. Trust is shattered. Customers begin to question the value of what they're paying for, and worst of all, the company's reputation takes a hit. For companies like Rockstar Games, a single crack of a blockbuster title can lead to massive financial losses, not to mention the ripple effects across the entire gaming industry. But here's where it gets complicated. Not all hackers crack software for profit. Some do it for the challenge, the thrill, others, for what they see as a moral crusade against big corporations. They argue that software should be free, that knowledge should be shared. But at what cost? This is a never-ending battle. Hackers find a way in, companies patch the hole, and the cycle continues. But with each crack, with each breach, companies learn, adapt, and evolve. The stakes are higher than ever, and the question is, who will win this digital tug-of-war? So the next time you think about cracking that expensive software, or downloading a cracked version, remember the story behind it. The risks, the consequences, and the impact on the giants of the tech world. Because in the end, nothing in this world comes for free. Asterisk. Or does it? If you found this video thought-provoking, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more insights, and let me know in the comments, whose side are you on?